Okay, so this is going to be a very um, simple tutorial on how to do AO. Um, firstly, whatever object that you are creating the AO map for, and make sure that you've got it unwrapped. And be aware that if you are duplicating anything, so it's not, there isn't, isn't happening in this case, but if, for example, this side was lying flat on top of this side, then, say what? The buttons are duplicate. Okay, that's fine because they're buttons. We'll, we'll explain. But if, if this is lining on the same side as that, because this has got something coming out of it that would create a darkened shadow, you would end up with that darkened shadow on this side as well. So anything that is covering that shouldn't be, make sure that it's on a separate area inside of the unwrap. Your buttons are fine because they're separated. Whatever's casting here can cast there as well. It's all right. It's not a problem. All right. So as soon as you once you've done that and you're happy with that. Um, it's actually quite straightforward. So press zero on the keyboard to bring up your render to texture. Um, make sure you are pointing to somewhere you're gonna remember in the top output. Make sure that the object that you've got selected is highlighted inside the name for objects to bake. Um, scrolling down, we're not looking at projection mapping this time, so you can leave it. Make sure that the channel map is existing, so they want the unwrap that you've created, not automatic. <clears throat> then in the output, you want to have ambient occlusion. Now, initially, set up for 3D Studio Max is for you to have um, scan line render. And if scan line's on, then you won't see mental ray, it doesn't appear. So switch that, go into the render setup, or press F10, change scan line to mental ray, and then go back to add, and you'll find the ambient occlusion at the bottom. Add that element. Scroll down, here you choose your size. So I'm going to go 1024 and then I can reduce it if I need to. Samples, um, this is the important section, um, particularly when you're doing something for portfolio. Um, keeping it down at 16 means that you'll have a sort of a grainy look to the shadow that it places. So if you bump that up to sort of between 150 and 300, then you'll have a really smooth um, gradient of, of shadow, but it takes a lot longer to render. Um, so for this instance, I'm just going to put it at 150 and get away with that. <clears throat> um, and that's it. The rest of it you can leave as is. Click on render. I'm overwriting what I did earlier as a test, so I'll just let it go. No, oh, hold on. Missing my um, missing my light. <laughs> Make sure you add a light um, skylight. And then we go again. Right. Okay. So that makes sure that the skylight makes sure that it picks up where the items are. This will take a little while to do. If you've got a So pick up the normals? No. It only picks up the. Yeah, yeah. If you baked out the high poly version, then you would, yeah, you get the shadows from there. Okay. Um, once it's finished, once it's kicked it out, um, jump into Photoshop. And what I tend to do, um, so there's the map. Um, it's slightly less grainy this time around, which is quite good. Um, I like to double up on it. So right click and duplicate it, and then make that duplicate layer as a multiply and it kind of it doubles up on the amount of ambient occlusion once or twice i mean some you can even do it again maybe just to get extra um depth into the ambient occlusion and that helps smash, smash those down so um control e just to collapse your layers down and that's your AO, so you can kick that out um for game engines you want to be putting this on top of your diffuse or your albedo so you have your albedo map Throw this over the top as, an, as a um, a multiply layer, so it doesn't remove any of your color on your color map. Um, for Quixel, there is an actual slot for AO. So when you first bring in, um, so you add in your mesh, add in your ID, and then right here you can add in an AO. So that's already there in place, um, and that's essentially it. So if we look at this in. In Max, 
I'll make a copy of your Baked in here without any other light in the scene. If you look a little bit around there as well. That's it. Is that simple?